customer centricity is a huge topic these days. Everywhere you go today in business, you can hear the words customer focus, customer centricity. Organizations are asking their entire employee base to be thinking about the customer because they know that the customer experience is driving their growth and driving their organization. So whenever you think about an organization, an entire organization trying to do that, there are several things you have to do, but there are also several things you have to watch out for. The first trap is that whatever it is that you do is seen as a program. Customer centricity is not a program. It's not what we do, it's how we do what we do. And by definition, a program has a beginning and an end, and you don't want that. You want customer-centric mindset to be in the DNA, in the fabric of everybody within the organization. And you will know that it gets into the DNA if the behaviors you are putting into place are seen once the people who put it into place are gone. Then you know that you've seen the DNA and that takes leadership, cascading down to leadership, cascading down to leadership, making sure that they are modeling, coaching, and requiring. That's important. It cannot be seen as a program. The second trap that people tend to fall into is that not everybody is included. Especially when you think about customer centricity, you might first think, well, the, the customer facing people should be the ones that we focus on. But really, if you do that, you miss all of those decisions that are up and down that value chain. Because people that are back in IT and back in accounting and back in R&D and back in all those different places, they have an impact on the customer experience. And you wanna make sure that everybody is in the same mindset, understanding the same behaviors and doing the same skills relative to customer centricity. The last and final trap that people can fall into is that you don't stick with it. You don't have that kind of corporate or organizational will to follow it through. There are gonna be bumps. There are going to be hurdles that you have to come. Let's face it, this is a customer transformation. This is huge. You're asking the entire organization to do something for you so that the customer experience is going to be improved. Your ability to be able to push through those hurdles and push through those bumps in the road is gonna be key to the success of your customer-centric focus.